What's happening, everyone? Jay Shock last here, and check it out. We are about to buy the rumor for Shock T. I don't know where it is. We're gonna go unlock Shock T. Uh, so apparently, we need to complete Rampage Run Dakar. So this is going to be a race uh, where we actually have to go to space. So let's go ahead and track it. Pull up the galaxy map. This is so much easier than tracking down the rumors. So let's go get Shock T. here in space in Dakar and I'm assuming that's not new space so basically we need to find the race um, to go down to defiance it's a shooting range there's a comet oh, I see the flag I see the flag I saw the flag oh there it is okay Maybe that's it? All right, so shooting galley. Oh, even better, not a race. Right, that was super easy, perfect, and we have unlocked Shock T, one of my favorite Jedi. Thank God it wasn't a race. And there it is. Let's get more info on Shock T. Go ahead and choose her. Right there, Shock T. A striking figure, Shock T is a wise Jedi master that sits on the Jedi Council. She oversaw the training of many of the clones during the Clone Wars and took part in a number of key battles. A keen meditator, Shock T can often be found in the Jedi Temple. Wow, she's pretty cheap. All right, well, let me swap them in space. So let's go ahead and land. Alright, so we have landed and we now have Shock T. Look at that. She looks fantastic. I absolutely love the gold accents in her Laku. And uh, yeah, man, this is dope. There was actually a scene that was deleted in episode three. <laughs> Uh, where she was doing her battle meditation and Grievous actually captures her and she dies. Uh, so that's that's very, uh, very interesting they didn't use that. But she was always one of the coolest looking 
uh, Jedi, and obviously she does all the same things that the Jedi do. I don't love it that they all seem to use the same stance, as far as I could tell. Um, I thought it would be kind of cool, and maybe I'm just like the one of the Jedi that I've seen so far just happened to be that way, but I, I thought it would be kind of cool if they found a way to uh, have some of them maybe do it. Look at that, just a casual, casual kyber brick pickup, although I do love, look at that jump. Like if we switch over to Kit Fisto, like he just jumps like all basic. And then Shock T is like, nah, let me show you the ninja ways. Because if you don't know, like a lot of the Jedi have different like forms and different style, uh, but they all seem to like, look like they're about to like tee up and hit a home run. Like, so it is what it is though. It's awesome. I'm glad we got Shock T. I'm telling you guys, don't even bother searching for the rumors. Just buy them. It's just, honestly, you're going to have studs you don't even know what to do with. So uh, it makes sense. It's perfect. Hope you guys enjoyed their shock tea. We'll see you.